Hey there YouTubers. After I got done my Frieden electromechanical calculator, I thought, hey, why not drag out the old SR10, my first electronic calculator, and show that one off. Um, this one I bought eh, back around 1973, and it was about $150 then. And uh, it's kind of a funny story. I ended up selling this one to a friend of mine for, I think, like 100 bucks, so I could upgrade to the SR50 in about 1974. So I had my SR50 and I was all happy. But I still wanted the old SR10 back. I thought it was a handsome calculator. So I kept asking my friend, hey, you want to sell me my SR10 back? No. You want to sell me my SR10 back? No. You want to sell me my SR10 back? No. Well, after about 10 years or so, 10, 15, 20, I don't know, I was visiting my friend for Christmas, and he came out with this kind of crudely wrapped package for Christmas, and I'm like, gee, I don't have anything for you. I didn't know we were exchanging gifts, but thanks. And I opened it up. Here he gave me my old SR10 back for Christmas. A very memorable Christmas present. Thanks a lot, Bob. I really appreciate that. Anyway, the SR10 uh, was the first slide rule 10 calculator from Texas Instruments. And this one actually still works. Here's the on-off switch. We'll turn it on, put some numbers in, and it even does exponents for a scientific notation. I love the way the uh, thing takes a little while and thinks. You can actually see the numbers flickering as it's running through its calculations. I was able to get this one running again because it has replaceable NICAD batteries. Very simple calculator. It does square roots, square, reciprocal. Uh, it doesn't have a memory. Change sign to standard uh, operations, standard keypad layout. I think it's a really handsome calculator. It's got kind of a razor edge 70s sort of styling to it. The calculator was made in the United States. I wouldn't be surprised if it was manufactured in Texas by Texas Instruments. We'll open it up and look at the inside. Pretty neat little calculator. All discrete components. It looks like a double sided circuit board. And then here's the replaceable NICAD batteries. I've replaced them since, uh, since it was made. It's kind of neat that it came with uh, the NICAD batteries in a replaceable battery pack. I was able to get this one running again after all those years. We'll take a look at the SR50 also. Here's the SR50 that I got to replace the SR10. Got this in about 1974. More advanced calculator. It's got uh, uh, geometry, uh, operation, sine, cosine, tangent. Um, it does some things that I'm not even familiar with, like, uh, logs, etc. It can do uh, a number to a different power. A pretty neat little calculator. This one doesn't work. It doesn't work because by this time they had gotten advanced and they made this funky little battery pack that went in here with non-replaceable batteries, which kind of was annoying. I took the battery pack out because it was starting to leak and corrode and all that crap. And then on the inside we see a little bit smaller circuit board. Again, looks like double-sided, discrete components. Um, pretty slick little unit. Anyway, that's a quick little video on two of my early calculators. I held on to them over the years. They didn't take up much space, so hey, I drug them along with me. Anyway, I thought I'd share it with you. So there you have the Texas Instruments SR10 and Texas Instruments SR50 from about 1973 and about 1974. Thanks for watching.